is finally time to do our March Madness brackets. And honestly, guys, I think I'm equally as likely to get this right if I try my hardest and if I let fate decide. So that's exactly what we're going to do for every round today. We're going to use a different method to predict which team will be moving forward in our bracket. So, can't stress this enough. <laughs> this is entirely, entirely for fun. Like I said, I'm going into this with a laughable amount of college basketball, so it really doesn't matter if I do my predictions for the men's bracket or for the women's tournament, but since the last video was about Caitlin Clark, we'll do the men's predictions for this video, the men's bracket, equal opportunity. So let's have a look here. I'm going to pop over in some corner <laughs> so we can have a look at the bracket. Um, the first half of the bracket will be decided purely by luck, and hopefully it's going to make for some good ASMR. Pure chance. And then the second half, I think from the Elite 8 forward, um, those will be selected more on, like, basically branding. Um, and nothing else. So, totally subjective and nothing at all to do <laughs> with the actual abilities and, and tactics of a certain team. Um, I was looking at this. This is like the official NCAA bracket tool. Um, and I was looking at it and it looks like... Yeah, the first four are shown here as, like, either this team or that team. You can't really pick the specific team for for this bracket. So if we get to the point, if, if any of these first four teams make it to um, the Elite Eight forward, where we're going to start looking at... Again, the branding. Um, then we will just use straight odds to decide which team we're looking at. We're going to see what the books are saying and pick the, the team that has the best implied probability to win. Enough rambling. It's time to start. And for the first round, we're flipping a coin, guys. I told you. <laughs> told you this is all up to luck. Hopefully the coin flip is gonna first of all come through on the microphone but also sound good. Um, and then place your bets now for how many times I will hit the mic <laughs> with the coin. This is um, I'm probably I'm probably down in the corner right now so you won't, you won't be able to make this out but we're using a Canadian quarter. Um, heads is the queen, tails is the moose. I think it's a moose. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, let's get started. We're starting with the east. Um, Yukon versus Stetson. Oh, I don't think I said this. We'll say that heads is the first team in the bracket and tails is the second team in you guys have been saying in the comments that um, anything can happen in March Madness, which I've, I've seen is true. And by the way, we'll have a video, I think next week, coming out uh, about the biggest March Madness upsets in history. But I think we're about to see a couple upsets with this coin flip, so let's get started. Oh, okay, let's hope this works. 
just landed on heads. So, okay, so that's good actually, because the number one seed, Yukon, <laughs> is moving forward in our bracket. Let's keep going, FAU or Northwestern. I flipped it this time, maybe I shouldn't have, but with the flip, it landed on heads. So, FAU. Are we flipping or not? Are we not flipping? I think I have to make, make up my mind about that. Just for keep this moving and to lessen the odds of me dropping the coin let's say no flip no no what I mean is after I flip it and I catch it I'm not gonna flip it over on the back of my hand anymore so FAU got through by human error <laughs> keep that in mind another heads okay I know not carry cash, or I very rarely do, so I asked, I asked my dad for a coin because I knew he would have one. Now I'm starting to wonder if he gave me a trick coin, because <laughs> we've had heads three times in a row. Let's keep going with Auburn and Yale. We got a tails, so Auburn seems like it would be an early upset but Auburn is out and Yale is through I might make this video uh, mono because I realize now if I start trying to flip with my well okay let's give it a shot <laughs> this is where I can yep no, we're not we're not doing <laughs> the left hand so we're gonna do this in mono that was a bad toss that was I'm videoing that one Another heads, so BYU advances Illinois or Morehead State. Landed on the desk as a heads. <laughs> so let's bring Illinois forward. Now we've got Washington State and Drake. Arizona. I 
do love your state. Should we just come across here now to the Midwest? Purdue, or one of the first four. Again, just for the sake of odds, we're hoping for heads here. And it's tails. Okay, so we definitely have a, a couple of big upsets in our bracket so far. Utah State or TCU? It's heads. Utah State. Why is it all the close ones? Like, meaning in their seeds. Like, we've got 8 seed and 9 seed, and we flip for heads. But when we've got number 1 seed versus number 16 seed, we get tails. Another heads for Gonzaga. Okay. And then between Kansas and Sanford. Heads, so it's Kansas, South Carolina, and Oregon. Another heads, South Carolina, and then is that Crichton or Akron? Tails. So Akron. Okay. Texas or winner of CSU versus UVA is a heads. Texas Longhorns, right? Longhorns. And finally, Tennessee or St. Peter's. It's gonna be St. Peter's. Okay. And finally, for the corn flip, over to the south. We're starting with Houston or Longwood. Ahead, finally. <laughs> Houston, moving on. Nebraska or Texas A&M? Nebraska. Okay. Wisconsin or James Madison? It's a tales. It's James Madison. Duke or Vermont? Is Vermont coming in for an upset here? It's a heads, so it's Duke. And Texas Tech versus NC State will go to heads, Texas Tech. Kentucky versus Oakland is going to Florida versus the winner of Colorado or Boise. It's a heads, so it is Florida. And the last coin flip of our March Madness bracket between Marquette and what I think is Western Kentucky. It's a tail. It is another upset. It's Western Kentucky. I got the hang of flipping the coin next to the microphone right at the end. <laughs> okay, for the second round, we are going to pull the winner from a hat. So, I have I have a baseball hat here and I have a bunch little papers inside. And there's even amounts of ones and twos. So again, let me go back to the east here. Number one will be the top team, the top listed team, and number two will be the bottom listed team. So for example, one would be Yukon, FAU would be two, and I just put a bunch of these in here for better sounds. <laughs> this is an ASMR video at the end of the day. Also, don't come at me for having an OVO hat. I'm Canadian. <laughs> okay. Hopefully this makes good sounds. The first matchup, 
Yukon versus FAU. Goes oh, I have two papers. Hold on. <laughs> okay, that's one paper. First matchup goes to. Oh, you won't be able to see that. Number two. And look, you have to take my word for these because if I was trying to fix something, even with my limited knowledge, I would not have selected FAU over UConn. <laughs> so, you know, I'm being honest. Let's move forward with San Diego State and Yale. Facing. 
number one, Gonzaga. Interesting, interesting. Let's keep going. South Carolina and Akron. Sweet 16 said for the Midwest, we've only got the South left to go. So between Houston and Nebraska, the first team from the South. Sweet 16 round. I was gonna let Siri decide. So, I don't know how this will work for ASMR purposes. Let me bring my volume all the way down. So basically, I was going to ask Siri to pick a number between 1 and 100. And if she picks a number between 1 and 50, the first team moves through. If she picks a number between 51 and 100, did I say she, it, Siri, uh, then the bottom team wins and moves forward. So let's see if we can get this to work um, without being too loud. Pick a number between 1 and 100. Oh, she's not even talking, which 
is even better. So she picked number 57. So number 57 means that San Diego State moves forward. Now between Illinois and South Dakota State, pick a number between 1 and 100. It's 39. So Illinois. So we've got our first final four. Matchup set San Diego State versus Illinois. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Let's move down to the West. And first matchup is between Mississippi State and Grand Canyon. And I'll just insert a little cut here so I can reset my camera and we can keep going. Okay, we're right back. It's time. It's time to sort out the West. Pick a number between 1 and 100. 91. Pretty, pretty strongly in favor of Grand Canyon here. Who knew? Who knew that Grand Canyon would make it to the Elite Eight? And they'll be facing... Pick a number between 1 and 100. Number 11, Colgate. So it's Grand Canyon versus Colgate in the West. Moving on... <laughs> Moving on to the Midwest, we have Utah versus Utah State versus Gonzaga. Pick a number between 1 and 100. 70. 70. So that goes to Gonzaga. I'm starting to wonder if I got any of the previous one wrong. <laughs> 70 is definitely Gonzaga, so let's keep moving with Akron. Akron versus Texas. Yeah, Akron versus Texas. Pick a number between 1 and 100. And it's 16. Akron knocks out Texas and moves on to the Elite 8. This is interesting because I feel like she's been going, Siri has been going back and forth between like a top number and a bottom number. I'm looking forward to watching this back and seeing if that's really how it went. But now we have to sort out the South. Huge game between Houston and Duke. Pick a number between 1 and 100. 13 and Houston takes the win. And they will be facing... Pick a number between 1 and 100. And it's number 2. Okay, so my theory of going back and forth was wrong. <laughs> but that means that Houston and Texas Tech are meeting in the Elite Eight. Okay, now remember this brings us to the moment of um, my subjective personal taste <laughs> deciding which teams move forward. It is a bulletproof, bulletproof way to select the bracket, to complete the bracket, to select the final four and the championship. So, starting with the Elite Eight, we are going to look at team mascots, right? Okay, it took me a second to think about logistically for the video how we were going to do this, and I figured it out. I'm going to have a look on my phone. And, and then I will insert photos 
for you to see over the video now while I was figuring that out I I looked at the first matchup that we have San Diego State and Illinois and we have a big problem because Illinois does not have a mascot and San Diego has a divisive mascot so I think for the first matchup we'll say better to have no mascot at all and, and we'll move Illinois forward to the final four easy, they sort of slipped in there um, and I think in any other matchup they would have they would have been knocked out so lucky lucky round for Illinois now let's look at Grand Canyon their mascot Grand Canyon ooh antelopes okay um, what I meant to search was not the roster the mascot the mascot is thunder the antelope oh and thunder so this is a great start for Grand Canyon and Colgate. You might be in trouble here. Let's see what you have to offer. So Colgate mascot. Do they have a mascot? Yes, their mascot is Raider. Raider? Okay. Raider is like a pirate, um, which is fair enough. There's no hate to Raider and to Colgate, but Grand Canyon has an antelope that dunks, so obviously. <laughs> okay, moving on to the Midwest, and we're pitting the mascots of Gonzaga and Akron against each other. Gonzaga mascot. Spike the Bulldog, yes sir, okay, that's a mean looking Bulldog, <laughs> that's a funny looking Bulldog, okay, alright, this is very dependent too, by the way, on like the first page of images on Google Images, again, an antelope that's dunking, you're not gonna beat that, Akron, uh, Their mascot is Zippy. <laughs> what kind of? Oh, it's a kangaroo. Okay, let's look at images. <laughs> it's always pointing. It's always pointing. Mm -hmm. I kind of like the idea of Zippy. I like that Zippy points a lot. Oh, this changed everything. This. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, so I'll put up the picture that I was just looking at. If there was a real picture of Zippy pointing at me with cool sunglasses on, that would be game over. Zippy would move forward. But those, those sunglasses are digitally added. And so, this is Gonzaga, right? No, this is Akron. Akron. Until you give Zippy real cool guy sunglasses, Gonzaga and their bulldog takes the win. And finally, between Houston and Texas Tech, Houston's mascot, they're gonna give me clutch, aren't they? I don't want clutch, I want, what's the name of the school? Houston. Shasta, the Houston Cougars. Oh, Shasta has a girlfriend and she wears a little bow. <laughs> oh, Sasha, I think, is the name of the lady cougar. And she might, she might win this for Houston. But let's give a fair shot 
to, I'm just, you know, I grew up in the 90s, um, a Lola Bunny, this is giving me Lola Bunny vibes, which is why I think I like it so much, but let's look at Texas Tech, Texas Tech, their mascot is a Raider Red, oh no, it's the eye. It's the eyes. If it was just like, um, if it was just a cowboy, <laughs> and he's got little holsters too. Oh, this one is tough. This one is tough, and it's especially tough because this is like the best matchup that we have, potentially. Well, maybe not. But I'm sorry, just, just based on Raider Reds eyes. He wins it. Houston's out. This is, this is the biggest upset for me so far. This is the biggest shocking, um, result because when I saw Sasha, is it Sasha the Cougar? I thought she was locked in. And then I saw the Raider. <laughs> Changed everything. Okay. All right. We're down to the final four. And in this round, we are just going to decide again by our own um, subjective taste which team has the better team name for a sports team. So, I think the best way to do that is to switch over to the NCAA's official bracket. Because I think if I click on the teams in question, they'll tell me what the name of the team is. So let's quickly go to, who do we need first? Illinois. Illinois was down here, and they are called the Fighting Illini. It's clean, it's simple, it's a good start for Illinois. The Fighting Illini, okay? And in our bracket, they are facing Grand Canyon. So let's go find Grand Canyon down, all the way down here. I think, I think. Where were they seated? <laughs> here you go. And they are the Grand Canyon Lopes, which I understand is, or I presume, is a shortened version of antelopes, which is a little bit where you lose me? It's cute. It's not bad. But for a sports team, I gotta go behind. And I think it's even just the fact that it's lobes. If it was antelopes, would I feel differently? Doesn't matter. We don't need to think about this. The fighting Ill and I are moving forward to the championship. Texas Tech or Gonzaga. Let's go find these guys. So Texas Tech. Who am I looking for? The Blue Devils or the Catamounts? <laughs> Texas Tech versus NC State. Gonzaga, I'm gonna go on the line and say it's the Gonzaga Bulldogs here. Um, let's find Gonzaga. And it is the Bulldogs. And what I'm gonna say here is that I think Bulldogs is a great name for like, like a college football team. But when I think of a Bulldog, 
don't think of agility. <laughs> so for that reason, and maybe a little bit because I still have the Red Raider's eyes burned in my brain, but for the reason that Bulldogs don't give me basketball player vibes, I'm gonna go with Texas Tech. And that is our championship game, Illinois versus Texas Tech for the NCAA Division I championship. And for the championship, I don't know if I sort of regret now picking this as the decider, but the championship will be decided by which team has the nicest uniform according to me and only me. So like uh, what I did with the mascot, I'll have a look at the uniforms on my phone and then I'll show you which pictures I'm looking at on the screen. Okay, so I'm definitely coming in from another cut here because I was trying to figure out how to do this, how to compare the uniforms from Illinois and Texas Tech and at first to try to make sure I was looking at the right uniforms, I went onto the uh, team stores for both for both teams. Tried to compare what seemed to be the current uniform for for, for the current uniforms for both of these teams. And I was struggling a little bit, so I decided to go have a look at their Instagram account and. Each team felt like, and I don't know if it's just, I mean, it's definitely has to do with recency bias a little bit because they seem to post quite a bit. So it probably just ends up being the jerseys that they wore in their most recent games or two that are coming up when I start, you know, first scrolling through their accounts. But again, fair is fair. I think it's it's fair play <laughs> to compare the teams based on based on those images. And what it came down to for me is that it seems Texas Tech. Um, I've recently played in this one black jersey that has Texas Tech, both words squished on top over the numbers. And that to me was missing something, and I, there's nothing specific about the Illinois jerseys that I can fault. Um, I'm a fan of the blue base with the orange accents, even though I, I know orange is their main color. But just based on what I was able to see, I'm gonna have to give Illinois the edge here, which means that Illinois wins March Madness. Let's click on them and make it official. Illinois. Tiebreaker, enter your score prediction. I'll let you guys, well, I want to click finish bracket. No, I'm going to let you guys tell me in the comments what the final score of the definite March Madness Championship between Illinois and Texas Tech will be. I need to restart my camera now so I can give you a proper goodbye. Well, here we are. We've done it. We have figured out the March Madness bracket. This is a big, this is a perfect bracket. There's no doubt in my mind. All that's left as I just said, is to get the score prediction in for Illinois versus Texas Tech. So that's your job. In the comments, I want you to tell me what the final, because I know, I know this is right. I know this is the actual championship. So just tell me what the final score is going to be. And, uh, and that's it. And then we'll have our full bracket for March Madness. I'm sure we'll come back and revisit this and see how we did <laughs> during the tournament. 
towards the end of the tournament. Guys, I hope you had fun. This was all for fun. I hope there were, were some good triggers in all of this for you. Let me know what you thought. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.